Tips on Galaxy Note 7 screen repair, teardown and reassemble. Warning, you are performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. To perform this DIY repair, you will need plastic triangle opening tool, nylon spudger, SIM card ejection tool, fine tip curve tweezers, precision knife set, premium 2mm red adhesive roll, multi-purpose heat gun, professional Phillips screwdriver, playing cards, power down your Samsung Galaxy Note 7 phablet. Eject the SIM and micro SD card tray. Smoothly remove the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 S Pen. The Note 7 rear glass panel is glued on solidly and is a tight fit within the frame. Apply heat to soften the adhesive. With the precision knife, create enough space to insert a playing card. Attack the adhesive and carefully dislodge the rear glass from the chassis. Remove the following 11 Phillips screws. Peel up the wafer-thin assembly that includes the wireless charging coil and NFC antenna. Pry the Galaxy Note 7 battery connector off the motherboard. Remove the single speaker with built-in antenna. The Note 7 battery is well wedged and adhered in place. Use a spudger to muscle it free from the adhesive, securing it to the midframe. Extricate the 3500 milliampere hour Samsung Galaxy Note 7 battery. Disconnect the bevy of cables from the Galaxy Note 7 motherboard. Remove the following two Phillips screws. Lift up the motherboard and detach the daughter board connector on its underside. Then extract it from the Note 7 phablet.
Spudge up the Note 7's iris scanner, followed by the 5 megapixel selfie cam. Flip the motherboard over and pull out the 12 megapixel Note 7 rear facing camera. Remove the falling Phillips screw. Disconnect and pluck out the modular headphone jack. Remove the falling two Phillips screws. Use the tweezers to free the daughter board from the midframe. It includes the Galaxy Note 7's USB-C port and primary microphone. Remove the spring contact connected vibrator, followed by the Note 7's earpiece speaker. The next component to surrender is a front-facing sensor array that contains the status LED, the IR blaster to enable iris scanning, and the proximity sensor. With the tweezers in hand, take out the Note 7 volume buttons cable, followed by the power button cable. The power and volume button covers are trapped within the outer case and can't be removed. Begin to free the Note 7 display assembly by using the heat gun to warm up the adhesive.
Use playing cards to attack the adhesive, securing the display assembly to the Note 7's midframe. Take your time and apply additional heat as needed. Once you have sliced through the adhesive, be mindful of the home button and the cables for the bottom buttons when decoupling the Note 7 screen from the midframe. Peel up and remove the assembly that includes the bottom button LED cables and the Note 7 modular home button and fingerprint sensor.
All the replacement parts and repair tools used in the video are available at www.fixeasy.com. Make sure to take a look at our other DIY smartphone and tablet repair tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.